yo yo what is good y'all it's your boy raf back in the cod mobile video man before this video starts yes this is not no regular pro tips and strats maybe you guys might have heard some of these but these are my personal secret strategies and my personal pros and tips that i'm giving to you guys right now so if, if you guys do enjoy the video a smash the like button would be really awesome and number two before the video starts check out the description if you guys want to know what this track is if you guys want to have some timestamps, check the description right now if you want to skip me talking and go straight into the tips one two three yada yada check it out in the description let's just hop right into it man so right off the bat tip number one is actually really really simple uh and yet not a lot of people actually use this tip all right and here is why man tip number one you want to go to basic and you want to scroll all the way down so you see sprint all right and always select i i personally think that you guys should be playing with always sprints on and here is why all right on the screen right now you have a picture of a joystick right and i'm gonna mark you guys if you see that little triangle right there the little triangle thing that is what is called a goldilocks zone all right and if you don't have your thumb pointing in that if you don't have the little joystick scroll in that little triangle triangular section you will not be moving forward all right so we did load into a training mode real quick and i just want to show you guys the difference between not playing with the always sprints and playing with the always sprints on so if you take a look at my joystick right over here all right if i have my joystick in a little if i have my joystick up in this area i'm going to be walking straight from the left side if i have my joystick in this area i'm going to be straight from the right side but if i have my joystick in this little goldilocks zone, i'm going to be moving forward all right and this is why i tell you guys to always sprint when you have always sprint on you're able to like if you just if you play with, with like a tiny joystick like me you don't have to move your joystick all the way up you can just move your joystick a little bit like i like to put a little bit of effort and just slide for really easily if you want to know how to do those little those like those nice slide movements like i'll show you guys a clip right now if you want to watch it check it out right now So in that clip, you can, you guys can clearly see my sliding was like pretty much out the roof, man. A lot of people do this shit, and this is the secret, man. You gotta play with the always sprint on. You gotta keep your joystick at the top, at the top of the knot, at the top of the whole circle. Always keep it north. You know, if you have if you want to slide, you have to be sprinting. Obviously, if you don't sprint, if you let me just show you guys, man. If I go to settings, if I go to basic, if I were to turn this off and have walking mode on, if I were to walk, you can't slide. You're gonna crouch. You have to have always sprint on. You don't always have to have always sprint on, but I play with it personally because it's way easier to do this little side thing. You know, if you don't play with always sprint, you can be walking sometimes. It's really inconsistent. That's why I stick to always sprint on. And that way you can slide really smooth me, smoothly. If you want to like turn on someone, you can just go like this. If you want to like jump, you can go like this. You can really turn on somebody. And there's another tip that leads us to tip number two, and that is playing with speed acceleration all right here's why you should be playing with this all right so speed acceleration is really interesting honestly and here's why some people like playing fixed speed and that's not bad fixed speed is honestly pretty it's really consistent really if you want to you can turn around people really smoothly i personally used to play with fixed speed but i immediately switched to speed acceleration all right here's why speed acceleration is it's all it's really inconsistent that's the only downside at first when you first switch it it's really inconsistent right but the more you play with it the more better you'll be right with speed acceleration it pretty much determines how fast your character turns on the speed of your thumb swiping through your screen you know what i mean if you for example if i swipe really slowly my speed acceleration will, it won't be it won't really affect my rotation but if i swipe really fast you know what i mean you can flick really really fast so that's a little tip i want to show you guys if you want to do a little slide these two tips always sprint then tip number one and tip number two will always allow you to, to pretty much do this little nice slide motion pretty much like this if you want to do something like this you see an enemy right there just slide it on them shoot them up really simple let's move on to tip number three all right tip number three is really basic i don't really have too much gameplay for it but i'm just going to tell you guys what you have to do it's really simple and it's one thing even i tell my teammates i get on their asses for this shit all the time it's really simple tip number three always look at your radar always no matter what your radar is your best friend it always gives you the most intel in the game right especially when people aren't using suppressors on their gun you will see them pop up on your radar so that's why i tell my teammates to pay attention to the radars and also if you look at the radars really often you have a teammate dying for example and if you if they spawn out like somewhere you can determine where your enemies are coming from especially in hardpoint competitive players you know what i'm talking about so check that out tip number three always pay attention to your radars all right and tip number four is really really interesting not a lot of people actually do this 
but I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. Something I like to do personally is use suppressors on your weapons, all right? And here's why. When you don't have a suppressor on your weapon, right? Obviously, you're gonna be popped up on the radar and the minimap, really. The guns you must use and must, it's crucial to use suppressors on these guns, especially is the PP-19 Bison. This is the build that I usually use with a suppressor right here and the QXR. This is the build that I use right here. All right, these two guns are really, really unique in their own ways. And here is why. When you have a suppressor on those two weapons, you will not be heard by the enemies. I promise you that it is very, very faint. If you, unless the enemies have like super surround sound type headphones, bro, they will not be hearing you anytime soon. Those two guns, you must be using a suppressor on. A gun I do not say or do not recommend you use a suppressor on is actually the RUS 79U. And here is why. The RUS is a fantastic gun, right? Especially when you have a suppressor on your POV or your point of view. When you have a suppressor on, it's really, really silent and it feels really satisfying, right? Yes, I agree with that. But on the enemy's POV, it's really, really loud. If anything, using a suppressor actually makes your gun sound much louder on the enemy's point of view, right? If they're sounding it, they can really hear your gun sound with the RUS 79 new. If you don't believe me, try to hop in like a 1v1 with a friend and just, they, they will literally tell you, wow, I hear your gun. So I do not recommend, I do not recommend you use a suppressor on the RUS 79 new, but let's just move on to the next tip. Tip number five is really, really simple playing together what i mean by this is playing as a team when you're playing scrims rank whatever it is you always want to play with your teammate all right i know a lot of people like to 1v5 and all that shit get some clips that can work as long as you have quick fix if you have quick fix equipped you can do that right be my guest you can do that you can probably shit on people but i'm talking from a competitive pov where there's no quick fix allowed and it's only toughness and vulture i think you're kind of forced to play together right every gunfight realistically going up against like good players you're probably gonna leave the gunfight if you win that gunfight you're probably gonna be like lit maybe one tap right and if you don't you know if you don't have quick fix you can't heal up really fast so that kind of forces you to, to to not be in that situation right a better way to prevent yourself from being in that situation is to play with a teammate always play with two people with you one person with you even a duo would work around because 2v1s you're way more likely to win that gunfight outcome you're way more better you're way more likely to come out with a positive outcome compared to a 1v1 where you might not lose it you know what i'm saying you might not win that gunfight you might leave around getting traded right so always play with the teammate always always all right my sixth tip to give to you guys i personally don't play with it but i honestly recommend you guys to try out gyroscope it's actually really good especially for phone players i don't know how the hell you could play gyroscope on ipad you know just because the ipad as well it's, it's kind of big you know what i mean but on phone if you're a phone player right I recommend you try out gyroscope. Once again, I don't play gyroscope, but I do know a lot of people who play gyroscope, and I, god damn, they are insane at this game. Once it'll take a while to play with gyroscope, right? You have to be a little proactive <laughs> in real life. Also, you have to pretty much know how to multitask. You have to move your phone around a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, it really depends, and it depends on how you feel, right? But I just recommend if you want to try it out, you want to be a good player. If you if you feel like you, you, you haven't peaked yet and you want to try something like do a new experience, try out gyroscope. It's actually really helpful at close range and medium range. At least it's really helpful. But if you don't have really steady hands, don't try using gyroscope at long range, obviously, just because if you have shaky hands, well, shaky hands, it's, it's going to pretty much reflect on your aim in game. So pretty much my sixth tip. Once again, try out gyroscope. Let's move on to the seventh tip. All right, and my seventh tip to give to you guys is actually because it's based off of two perks, right? Perk number one is lightweight. Perk number two, dead silence, right? These two perks, um, you might disagree with me on lightweight, and you might heavily disagree on me with dead silence, but hear me out, all right? Dead silence is really, really helpful, even when you run, right? I personally don't use uh dead silence to walk around unless i'm playing in search and destroy i will turn on walk and i will turn off always sprint but every other game mode i always have always sprint on right dead silence pretty much grants you the ability to be silent while you're walking crouching proning etc etc and when you when you sometimes there's like a little bug where if um if you use dead silence if you like ads and then and then you on ads you don't hear your footsteps until you like vault something pretty much if you have dead silence on if you like just tap the ads button real quick and then you un ads you can't hear your own footsteps until you like jump something or you just jump straight up um i recommend you use dead silence really it's really helpful it actually minimizes the sound that you make when you're sprinting 
by like roughly 10 meters right it's really really insane i'm not too sure about that stat statistic but try out the suns it's really really good i don't know what other perk you would use maybe hardline if you're playing rank but yet again in scrims it's kind of banned so just use that suns that sounds really good perk and lightweight is really really helpful only if you're a movement based player all right here's why when you don't have lightweight on you can't really do that fancy slide shit that little movement stuff it's not you can do it but it's not as smooth as to when you're using lightweight if you don't like using lightweight another perk i really highly recommend you use is flak jacket flak jacket is so so useful especially in rank when you're going up against thermites molotovs all those gay things bro check out flak jacket it should be good for you i used to use this per i used to actually use this perk way back and i actually started the trend at least in the amateur scene at least i made a bunch of teams start using flag jacket i promise you if you use it right now you'll love it it allows you to survive a grenade really so it's pretty useful all right the last tip i can actually give to you guys is something that i've been keeping low key for a hot while unless you know my instagram and you follow my instagram i have made a post about this but i don't show anybody not even my teammates this this is my personal most like secret secret all right it's my audio settings all right at the moment this isn't my actual audio setting, audio settings that i would hop into a game with but if you turn off ui volume i recommend you turn that shit off asap and here's why when you play with these these specific audio settings you will be able to you won't be able to hear your your little like when you get a kill that little ding shit you won't hear that but to compromise for that or to to, to make up for that you're gonna be able to sound like a god with these audio settings you can hear everything going from like the bison suppressed gunshot all the way to people walking around without dead silence it's really useful try these audio settings let me know if you guys like it and also try playing low graphics and max frame rates because when you play on low graphics it's actually both really good for your battery your phone and you can actually see some things that you can't see if per se if you're playing on very high quality so i recommend you try it out try out low graphics let's move on to my bonus movement tricks that i'm gonna show you guys right now all right the last tip i can actually give to you guys really before we go into the tricks my personal tricks to help you like be better at movement is to play in the training mode right use this little start thing honestly i don't really recommend you do it really just because it's it's pretty hard to do once you get to like tier five you have to actually use snipers you're kind of forced to use snipers but really just focus on your aim really don't even just shoot these targets just actually just drag them and look at these little killer drones try to drag them with your sin you know what i'm saying just drag them once this thing pops out all right there it is just try to drag it make sure you can aim on it this will actually help you like it really helps you with your aim if your aim's a little rusty just, oh, i always hop into a training mode just to like never hop into pump match always hop into training mode just to fix my aim, make sure my aim is at peak advantage you know what i mean if you guys don't like using this training mode then i can recommend you guys an application if i go right here this application is called i aim if i were to go to the app store right now and check this out it's called i aim it's a, I don't know if it's on Android, but it's a really useful application. I use this once a week to, if I'm feeling like a little down with my aim. Check out this application. It's pretty, pretty useful. It's a bunch of varieties of like what you want to do on this. Let me just open it real quick. Just give you guys a little run through. You got cubes, follow cubes, mini flick, yada, yada. Just check it out. It's a really, really good app if you want to fix your aim. If you don't personally like using the training mode in Call of Duty Mobile. But other than that, let's just hop right into my personal tricks. All right, so we have loaded into a training mode room. I'm just going to show you guys my personal movement tricks really quickly. The first one is obviously just sliding, just just running around zigzagging. I, I never walk in a straight line. I always zigzag. Try to zigzag because when you zigzag like this on the enemy screen, you will be insane. I can't show you guys it because I don't really have a strong example, but this clip should do on what you look like when you zigzag like this. Check it out. All right, tip number two is honestly just sliding, right? You wanna, if you see somebody, let's say this is an enemy right here, and I know he's there, you don't wanna just run into them and just shoot on them. No, you never do that. Instead, you wanna just slide, always slide. If you're gonna check, if you're gonna check a corner, always slide. If it's a sniper, always slide. If it's a sniper, if that guy's a sniper, never ever jump peek, never jump peek. And here's why. If you know the sniper, especially if the sniper's on a head glitch, what you're pretty much doing is allowing the sniper to see your full body when you when compared to when you slide you're only allowing them to show like you're showing them your legs and your hitboxes are trying kind of really lower to the ground it's a little shaky when you slide so it's actually really hard to kill you when you slide if you're going up against a weapon like a drh or like a something that has like hitbox multipliers like something like an hvk that does a lot of damage to the head never drop shot and here's why 
never drop shot unless you know you can get the kill if you have like a fast shooting gun or if you have cracked ass aim then you can drop shot but if you know this guy has like a strong ass three tab gun if you're just gonna drop shot what's the first thing the enemy sees on you your head you know if you're going up against an hvk and they hit you one tap on the head you're dead simple as that so never drop shot if you see an enemy with like a strong ass gun but only i never i rarely drop shot really just because i use guns like pp19 bison and with those guns and the qq9 you can strafe like a god with the msmc you can't really strafe too well right but let me just whip out the bison real quick if i go over here you can strafe like a god it's pretty simple to strafe you know what i'm saying just really straight strafing is the best move you can do just because the fact it allows you to aim, focus on your aim right and it also makes you pretty hard to move target don't just strafe left right left right try to make yourself like kind of like unpredictable like go left right left 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 right you know what i mean just change your change up your route change up your route the next tip and probably the last tip i can give you guys really is to crouch spam right i don't personally do this too much but when you're in a gunfight always crouch spam the reason why is this when you're when you're crouching right you're forcing your enemy to like realign their crosshair a little bit downwards and when you're crouch spamming it's so annoying on the enemy's pov it's so annoying i promise you that i've gone through this shit and i've always rage quitted when i see people crouch spam so try it it's a really useful tip and trick i hope you guys did enjoy the video today man let me know if you guys thought let me know how you guys thought about these tips and tricks if they did help the smash the like button would be phenomenal but other than that, stay tuned. The next video, of course, will be a scrim video with VC. So stay tuned for that. I'm not too sure. I can't make no promises when that'll be out. But I'll catch you guys next video, bro. Peace out, y'all.